Hi everybody and welcome to True Ones, where here we try to help you decide if it's going to change from a want to a need. Now we film live here with no edits. I prepare and remove all the excess packaging before we're sitting down because I take a picture from my Instagram where my name there is True Ones with the number two. But if you're into informative videos, just note that when my paid for versions come, no different than my spoilers, we're going to go in a lot more detail in reference to the products. But because this is PR, I, what I'm going to do is just show you the information that is on the back of the packaging as well as do swatches here. All right. But if you're interested in the more informative videos, then make sure to press subscribe. It is free. Ring that bell so you get a new video notification. And don't forget to press that thumbs up. That will help this video grow and hopefully find others who enjoy this type of content, find this channel true once as well. All right, we have all links and all of that. If you're interested in my uh, Instagram, which is also free, the link is in the description box down below, along with any other links. And if I have any discount codes are always found in the description box as well. But if you are new here, we are a community here at True Wants, where we share about the brands, the products, and of course the deals, with some spoilers on subscription boxes too. But I always look forward to seeing you guys in the comments. That, that is so important to me because that is my lifeline to you guys, and I do my best to respond to all. All right? I always appreciate when you guys also take the time to watch in full, because like I said, I don't edit. I prepare and do everything ahead of time, and then when I'm sitting here, I will watch it back with you when you're watching. So if you're one of those first few comments, you know that I'm going to respond pretty quickly to you. All right, so let's get started because this is the PR that came from Ipsy. The last few months we've been spoiled because we've been getting it for the longest time that I've been getting Ipsy has always been before choice day, majority of the time, which made it a little bit easier because I also have two paid for accounts. So I also then would have the opportunity to choose different products than what comes in the PR so I can show more products and learn about more products here. However, a lot that uh, we're finding out through Ipsy, there's not a lot of communication when you get PR. There's different levels of PR, but with the PR that I receive, I did get all three. I got the glam bag, the boxy charm, as well as the icon box. There'll be three separate videos because I'm doing my best to swatch and give as much information because it is after choice day. There's not this urgency to get it all up in one long video. This way you'll be able to catch up on all three. There's also some spoilers that they also put in the glam bag as well as in the boxy charm box for the next month which you'll be watching those videos. We'll get a couple of little sneak peeks of what is going to have they have in store for us for next month as well. But if you're not familiar with the icon box, this is a really special box that I really enjoy. And in one of my accounts, my original account with Ipsy, I upgraded to the icon box right away. I was getting the ultimate box before that, the Glam X, all of the stuff Ipsy I was part of, as well as BoxyCharm. But when Ipsy bought BoxyCharm, it opened up a second account for me. And I kept it, especially for this type of month, which is ICANN. So what ends up happening is on my other account, I do not upgrade. So on my channel, you will see, and if you've watched my choice videos, you see that I'm able to share with you my paid for versions. And we get a sneak peek inside of what all the choices were for ICON, for BoxyCharm, as well as for the Glam Bag. But the ICON box, like I mentioned, is an upgrade box that happens every quarter. It's eight full-size products that are usually worth up to it. They're saying at least $350. It's $60 a quarter, but it is an upgrade box, which means you already have to be a member of either the Glam Bag or the BoxyCharm box. But if you're like me and you're a member of both, it will upgrade you from the BoxyCharm box, which means you won't get a BoxyCharm box during the Icon Month. But if you're like me and you also get the Beauty Boost, the Boost will move up to the icon box all right so i hope i got all that covered but of course if you have any questions make sure to share it down below so like i said i open up everything prior to so that we can go through and see what some of the items here now two of the items that are in here actually i think there's four four of them are ones that uh, i either chose for myself or they were power picks from uh from ipsy 
And another one is a product that I'm excited for. If you don't know about it, I got in a Fat Fit Fun box. Otherwise, there's three in here that are going to be new to me that I'm very excited about because two of them were ones that I was kicking myself that I didn't put it into my add-ons. Because like you, I try to budget myself the best way possible. And because I also didn't know what was going to be in the PR box, I was being a little bit more careful. But I got very, very lucky that two of the items that I wanted and I didn't add on are in here, as well as one or two items in my BoxyCharm, the same thing happened. So I'm very, very happy and I'm happy to have it here that I can go through all of the products with you. So I also choose to film this way so that we can get up close about the products and the information that is on here will be able to get it as close to the screen as possible. And especially when it comes to ingredients, I do my best to try to film it this way so that the eye of the camera can catch things a little bit better than me. And here's the English version of what was on the other side where it says it smooths the pores, the power ingredients, and all of that here. So all that information is gonna be on here. So if you wanna see how to use it and all of that, all the directions are on here as well. Now remember, when my version comes, I will have a lot more information because I'll have the time to do a little bit more research. But when this arrives, I'm too excited. And as you know, if I know something, I want you to know it too at the same time. Now this box, even in the PR, came a little bit dented. And then when I opened it up, the I didn't look at anything except to see if there was a safety seal, which there was not. But this is how the product looked like when it arrived here. And then this is the information that is on the back of the tube. Try to get it as close to the camera as we can. So when I opened this up, this is what I saw. So this, there was some inf in the cap here. So to me, there was no safety seal and there was a little bit on here. So I'm just gonna take my finger to what was sticking out. And then that is what I'm gonna put on the back of my hand. So as we know, this is gonna be the Speedy Smooth. So I know a few of you shared with me when there was an edit box, which we haven't had in a while, that you guys shared with me that when this came out in the edit box, you guys picked it up and you wrote back to me months later how much you're enjoying this product from the skincare line from Benefits, which was a newer product. And if you were like me, we also got the opportunity a few months back during the launch, they had in the 350 section a travel size of the cleanser which I got very lucky that it was chosen for me in my paid for box. So I'm really happy to get that in the full size because if not, that definitely would have ended up in my add-on pile because for me, that was a real treat. It was a cleanser that comes out like a foam and I really feel it didn't strip my skin and I loved it and used it all the way to the end. And that small little can that we got in the travel size ended up being such a win that it really lasted me for more than the month, which was crazy because I wash my face day and night and sometimes midday if I'm not wearing makeup and we've been outdoors a lot. So this one here, we're gonna see if it gets any lighter, if it goes, I'll leave this on my skin. So we'll be able to see if it hardens or anything like that. So like I said, really enjoy the Benefit brand and I'm really impressed with their skincare line. The next item is another one that I got chosen for me in my paid for, it's from Saturday Skin. This is another brand that I really do enjoy. This is called the Pretty Pop. This is a probiotic power whipped cream. And this is the information that is on the box here. It's hard, let me see if I can get it angled so that we guys can see. Sometimes on the packaging, it's not always easy and here's some of the directions. And then of course the ingredients, which is always important. And that is a good way to film so that we can get all the information up here. So that is the information of where it comes from and all of that. And then here is the side panel. And then there's some information here that's on the top and it says it's powered by seven peptide which is unbelievable and it's proprietary and all of that if i can get it to focus there we go so that is the next item here so let me put this up here and then this one did have a safety seal on it this is what the tube looks like
I've been filming all day, a, lot, a large part of this day, and it is taking its toll a little bit, so I apologize if my excitement isn't as much as you guys are used to with me, because when I was unboxing this, I was over the moon, but then I have to take pictures, and then I have to film, and then I have to take pictures, and then I have to film, and I already had a video up earlier that is of all the products that uh, I went through, and then I also showed you a lot of my picks that I did, uh, because when I do my choice, I go into the video first with you guys, and then I, after I'm filming, I take my time and make my choices, check information on websites and things like that. So that is what this looks like here. It feels extremely hydrating to the skin. So this is nice because when I heard whipped, it made me think that it would be like a really lightweight cream, which it is, but the hydration that I'm feeling is just spectacular. So very excited about that. And we're still keeping our eye on this guy. The next item was one that I ended up getting in a Fat Fit Fun box that I chose for myself and because I wanted to learn more about this brand and this will be a nice replenishment. This is from the brand that is called Topicals and this one here is what this is a brightening and a cleansing eye mask. They're just eye pads that you put underneath your eyes. They also have a, a, this cute design is on the eye pads as well. They're really nice. They stay on really securely and you don't have to really worry when you're taking them off. But if you're like me and you like to put them on before your makeup or if you're just working on the computer and you want to just relax, you don't have to worry. You'll still be able to walk around and do things because they don't slide around. That is my memory of using these. I use so many different iPads. I'm hoping I'm giving the right information. So if you've had the opportunity to use this product, make sure to share it down below. But inside here, they're all individually packaged, which is also fantastic. It keeps them usually moisture, the stays within, and then you're also able to travel with these as well. So there's gonna be two, four, six packages in here. And then the same information that was on the back of the carton is on the back of these guys as well. So that is the next item that we got. Then after that, we got this one here, which is another one that I was on the fence about, and I'm ecstatic that it is here because I've heard so many great things about this brand. It is called the Oterna. This is a caviar anti-aging. It is a multiplying volume styling mist. Now, I have very thick hair, as you see in my videos, and it is um, the, the type that sometimes the, because it is thick, it's also heavy, so the volume is time, sometimes will last me not as long as I would like. So no different than I'm sure the complaints that people that have fine thin hair, which my mother had. So it is ironic that even when you have thicker hair, volume could be a problem as well. So hopefully this is something that will come into good use, but they're saying this is for body and light hold for fine hair. So I don't know, I will give it a whirl, I will try. If not, I will pass it on to some family and friends and then they will be able to tell me if it works better for their hair than mine. But this is a brand, like I said, I was always excited to have the opportunity to try. I'm just gonna do a quick spritz so we can see what the actual spray looks like. So it's a fine mist. Oh, and it smells lovely. It's really, really beautiful. It's more of a it's a fresh, clean, but a little perfumey. Really, really beautiful. I love when uh, hair care products have a scent to them so that when you're walking around and the wind blows and the hair comes into your face, you get that beautiful whiff of that beautiful scent. So very excited about that. It is a little bit sticky to the touch, but I did do a close spritz there. So I'm just gonna wipe the back of my hand here so that we can go on to the next product. The next product that I'm excited about is one that I also chose for myself and it is from the Kosas brand. This brand impressed me last month with the uh, powder that we got. It's that solid powder and I shared all my thoughts in it in my other video that is about all about the products. And so many of you have shared with me after watching that video that you said you felt the exact same way. So it is so nice when we have a community 
that enjoys a lot of the similar products that we both like. It just makes everything even better. But there are times when there's products that maybe you would like and it didn't work for me. And it could just simply be my environment. It could be my skin type. It could be so many things. And that's why it's important to have a community here at True Wants in the comments where you're sharing your thoughts about the brands and the products. And especially if you talk skincare, then you're able to share your thoughts on that, but you have to share your skin type as well. And as you can see, this is starting to dry and it looks like it's starting to lighten up a little bit around the edges. So this is the type of mask that I like that you'll know when it is ready to wash off, when it will become a lighter version of what it started out as. So excited about that. So here we go. Here's this product here that is from Kosis. This is the back of it here, and this is called the Plump and Juicy Lip Balm. So we'll have to know, I'll have to test this out, but if you've tried this, you'll have to get back to me on it to tell me if you feel any plumping. So I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I will put a little bit on my lips to see if I feel any difference. But that is the little bit that is there. Let me put a little bit more, and then I'll take it from here, and I'll put it on my lips. Put it there. So that is what it looks like there. So it is definitely a thicker formula. It took a little bit of effort to squeeze it out of the tube, but let me take it now on the back of my finger here. We'll do a little bit up close and I will put it on my lips. Near here. Okay, it has more of a, um, of a milky texture to it. It has the type that is a little bit thicker than you would want to wear like during the day. This to me, I think would be more of a nighttime or when you're preparing your makeup, I would put this on first. But it has a little bit of the beautiful milky type of color to it. But it is not sticky. I just put a little bit with my finger and I didn't have to wipe my finger off at all. So I'm excited about that. Let's see what else we have. You have the mask on the back of this finger. All right, so that is that one there. So we're gonna still continue to check the mask. The next thing that we have here is the last uh, three. Two of them are from One Size, which as you know, was the collaborator of this brand. And this one here is from One Size. This is going to be their Point Made Waterproof. This is a liquid eyeliner. And the shade that was sent over is in the one that is a brown color, which is what it says there. And then this is some of the information that is on the back of the packaging here and I know that when some of the add-ons this is also vegan as you can see back here some of the packaging that I saw some of the actual products that I saw when I did that all about the products video you'll be able to see because in that video we get the opportunity to see all of the potential products that could have been in our boxes as well as you'll also see that some of them weren't even in the add-ons that I was able to see so for me, that was always a video that I love doing, that we were able to learn a lot more about all of the potential products that if we didn't see them, means that we possibly will see them in future shoppers and things like that. So this is what this is here. And as you can see, it goes in a little bit here where you'll be touching it to use, it will give you more control. It's like it has that ergonomic type of feel to it. And then the brown on the other side here. And then when you open it up, it is a fine tip. And Patrick Starr is such a makeup guru to me. He was one of the first people that I started watching when I started watching YouTube. So if you go to just the tip of it, you can go really like a fine line. But if you use the side of it, you can see here that it showed it to be a little bit of a thicker line. It really is beautiful. It's not a firm, as you can see, it's almost like a brush. It feels like a brush to it, it's not one of those hard uh, products that you have, you know, it can pull your lid. This is absolutely fantastic. The only thing I'm surprised is I'm not hearing a click. You, so you just have to make sure that you really push this down. The other way that you is good with liners that is good to know is always when you're storing them, don't store them flat like this. Store it so that the liquid in the liner will always be going towards the tip. And that is the best way to store liners. I have an actual, uh, where I keep a lot of my liners and my eye that I'm currently using, it's in this, um, it almost has like a tilt to it. It's like a pencil holder that's like this, and it has tears to it. 
and I'm able to always make sure that when I put it in there, all of it is going directly to the bottom. So that's always good a good little trick to know. So if it's dried out, it's a good way to do it as well. So love this little detail here. Did not feel that ever before, and I thought I tried his liquid liners, but he says they're waterproof, which to me, that is fantastic. Now, this is the next item here that I'm really excited about because this was another one that in my version, I got the pink one. So I felt very, very lucky. I was ecstatic when I saw that it was chosen for me. So this was a product that I really wanted to try. It's called the Cheek Clapper, and this is going to be a brush trio. Now there is gonna be a highlighter in here, if my memory serves me correctly, a a blush that is going to be cream as well as a one that is going to be powder now the one that i was chosen for me was the one that was in the pink and as i shared with you when we went through that video where it's about all the products that video i shared with you that this was in the 18 dollars section and if it was in the 12 dollars section i probably would have grabbed it but there was something with the fact that it was in the 18 dollars section and i was already at my number that I wanted to be at in my add-ons that I let this pass and then as soon as I clicked that I wasn't going to get it I was very disappointed and then here it is in the PR so I'm happy I made that decision but I made that decision solely because like I said dollar wise I want to stay in budget we're only at the beginning of the month and I already have add-ons that are coming in my fat fit fun box and then we also have the add-ons in every one of my boxes that I get here in the paid version I ended up putting some in the icon some in my glam bags to get the free product so for this one I'm a little bit excited that it is in here more so than I would be but this is crazy that it ended up working in my favor. I didn't think it was going to, but also because the PR came a little bit later, I really didn't wanna have too many duplicates, even though I'm gonna have already within this box alone, I'm gonna have uh, three that were already chosen for me. So like I said, and then the other one was one, no, four. I haven't even shared with you another product that it ended up being. So there's a full mirror on the top here. And then as you can see here, there's a glass door, uh, not a glass door, a plastic door that you can lift up that will keep the actual cream away from the powders. So I'm gonna swatch these two powders first and then I'm gonna lift up the door and I will swatch the other one so we can see what it's all about. Now, based on the picture, I did not know that this was gonna be peach tone. So now I'm like even happier that this showed up here. So that, look at this shape. This is stunning, beyond stunning. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It looks so light in the pen and the payoff is just phenomenal. So that is important to also swatch for those reasons as well, to make sure that when you are swatching, that you make sure that you, um, oh my God, I'm in, I'm in awe, that you go ahead and uh, make sure that when you swatch it on the back of your hand, it will tell you, to your, your mind will tell you, okay, light brush, use a, use a lighter hand when you're gonna be putting this blush on, even though it looks so light in the pan. All right, now let's do the cream. So I'm just gonna do a little guy here, and that is what that looks like here. Feels very smooth, and of course, that is the gorgeous cream. So tell me if you are more into, like me, putting cream on first, if you're gonna use cream, and then put powder on to set it, or you are from a younger generation that seems to follow Patrick Ta, who likes to have the same type of formula where he has a cream as well as a powder in his compact, but he likes to top it off being uh, with the putting the powder first and then topping it off with the cream. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that. And then the last product that we have here is from Kinship. And this one here is the called Instant Wipes. And this I ended up choosing for myself simply because, first of all, I do enjoy kinship. But this is the type of product that I've used from First Aid Beauty, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I always replenish whenever I see it like available in the store. However, this one I think is going to be a little bit more unique, where when I started to read a little bit of the instructions on it, this little tab here was what was closing the two of them. I just wanted you to see what the tab was there. What uh, it said that you have to use it every other day, you know, until your skin can actually tolerate it. It does have a, a strong scent to it. It's 
a mixture, it's a really different scent. It has, it's not medicinal. I'm gonna have to look at the ingredients here and see a little bit more about it. Let me just close this up and then I will swatch the, uh, what I have on my hand here. I'll take it off with this so we can see and then just put up a little bit of what is on the back here so we can maybe figure out what the scent is that is in here. It is, it, it's stronger than an alcohol and yet it, it's got to be a lot of different ingredients that are in here, but it would be a newer scent to me. It is not one that is overly pleasant, let me put it that way, but uh, it's probably the actives that are in here. So again, this is called the Insta Swipe. And the brand is Kinship. And then on one side here, it is the uh, flat. And then on the other side here, it has the exfoliation to it. Yeah, the scent, initially I thought maybe it was the plastic from the jar, but it's not. You can smell it on the actual pad. So as you can see here, this is almost dry. So we're going to take it out. But uh, yeah, it's this part is still a little wet. But as you know, that is going to dry up. So I'm going to take this to wipe off everything that's on my hand here. We'll start first with the blush. Then I'll see if what it's going to do with the waterproof. Got that off. And then finally, we'll take off the mask. And then I'll just use the smooth side to wipe everything down. And then I'll smell my hand again and see. Yeah, it has a scent. You'll have to tell me if you had the opportunity to use this, what you're smelling. But when I finish filming, I will definitely look it up. And of course, by the time my package comes, which that item I chose for myself, we'll know a lot more information on it when we go through my informative videos. So if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. It is free. I'm going to show you quickly the brochure here. The other brochures that I got in the other boxes had some sneak peeks. This is really just more information about Patrick Starr, which is fantastic. And like I said, I'm an early follower and I continue to follow his journey, which I think is absolutely tremendous. He actually just finished uh, an esthetician school, which is really amazing that he's even going that deep to learn more. And there's some more of his products that we could have gotten in our boxes. That definitely in mine, I chose the Lip Smacker. And then the only one that's on this page that I have not had the opportunity to try yet is his mascara. And then there are a couple more pages in here. I just want to make sure to share everything with you. So it says Glam on Air. And then you'll see some, there's the pink one that I got, I'm going to be getting in my box. You're seeing the dual ended uh, lip liners, which I gave you my opinion when we did the choices. And then you'll see some more products here. It says ready for your close up, some products from Kosas, the Poor Professional, the Benefit product is in there, as well as they had a lot in the add-ons from Fenty Skin, which is always nice. And then they have the Prep Time, which you're seeing here. Some of these were definitely chosen for me. So we're going to see in my boxes this item, this item, this item, this item, and we just saw this one here. So the only one that I'm not going to be showing on my channel is the one in the middle that is from Innisfree. And then here uh, is Patrick Starr with no makeup on. And then we have here his binge worthy products that are from there. And then finally on the last page here, it says screen time secrets. And then that is the other information that is on the bottom here. They also shared on their Instagram just before I was filming that they are possibly going to be coming out with a podcast called Hitting Pan, which I think is a fantastic name, but I don't know any more information about it because I've been filming all day here. So as soon as I know any more, you know that as soon as I know, you guys will know too. I will sit down and do a video because that is something new that is on the horizon coming from Ipsy. And that is all the products that I have to share with you today that was in the PR version of this box. So if any of these are products that you're going to be getting in your PR or it is one that you are uh, in your PR, in your boxes, your paid boxes, or you're like me, that you're excited for your box to arrive. I know the feeling 
the hardest part about this is waiting for the tracking to arrive and then watching it and seeing how slowly until it gets to our door. So hopefully I wish everybody gets their boxes soon. I know I'm excited to get mine. And when I do, of course, I will sit down and share it all with you. So if you've watched this all the way to the end, simply leave in the comments PR icon may. So I know that you watched it all the way to the end. And that's it for this video, guys. So everybody continue to stay safe and well. Remember, all of my PR hopefully will be up. You'll just over the weekend, you'll be busy with me catching up on a few videos. And then, of course, if any other information comes up along the way, there will definitely be more than one video a day. You will definitely know when I know something as well. And that's it. So take care, everybody. Continue to stay safe and well. And I'll see you all soon again in the next video. Bye for now.